complication of wound healing. Remember here that 20 times more collagen is synthesized than normal. That is dense collagen with increased fine collagen with increased epidermal hyaluronic acid. So this wound healing process is contaminated by infection and also disfigurement by means of scar. What is scar over here? The scar is defined as an abnormal disorganized collection of collagen after the wound repair. So dehiscence or rupture of the wound most common after an abdominal surgery especially on day 6. Accumulation of excessive amounts of collagens may give rise to a scar known as hypertrophic scar generally seen after traumatic or thermal injury. Here six times more collagen with increased alpha actin is seen and the spontaneous regression is seen within 12 to 18 months. If the scar tissue grows beyond the boundaries of the original wound and does not regress it, it is called as a keloid. So here 20 times more collagen is synthesized than normal that is dense collagen with increased fine collagen with increased epidermal hyaluronic acid where this type of colloid is more commonly seen at the site called as sternum. And what is the exuberant granulation tissue? The exuberant granulation tissue called as proud flush which blocks re-epithelialization. And what are contractures? What do you mean by the contracture of the wound? Contractures are mainly due to exaggerated wound healing and can cause wound deformity such as in claw hand. For example, if you take like fetus, cutaneous wound healing takes place without scarring mainly due to lack of osteopontin production and presence of non-fibrogenic forms of cytokine especially transforming growth factor beta. Because of this there would be less collagen in the wound healing in those individuals. The absence of CD4 TH2 cytokine which activates macrophages for the production of cytokines is actually responsible for the development of fibrosis. And this is what we need to know about all the important points of wound healing process.